law of attraction is the most senior of the universal laws. And what that means, what it means to be the senior law is it means pretty much like an ace in a stack of cards, that it trumps everything else. Everything else responds to the law of attraction. It puts everything else in order. And what it basically says is this, that the universe responds to your most predominant thought pattern. It literally bends itself around the thoughts that you're holding in your mind about any given topic most of the time. And it does this by bringing you people, places, experiences, and circumstances that match this thought pattern, that literally mirror this thought pattern in its experience. So if you're thinking there's not enough money, I don't have enough money, if that's your predominant thought pattern around money, then the universe begins to bend itself and it begins to respond to your predominant thought pattern and it brings you the people that will help you support that belief, bills, creditors, etc. It brings you the circumstances that will help you support that belief. You know, I remember um, hearing the elders when I was growing up, there was a saying they used to always say, which was, um, there's, there's more bills than money. <laughs> there's more bills coming in than there's money coming in. And it always seemed that that was the case for them. And it does this again by bringing you the circumstances that will support your thought pattern. So once again, if you have that thought pattern of there's not enough money, then you'll always have experiences that are requiring more money from you than that you're, the money that you're bringing in. You'll always have this feeling of there's not enough because of your circumstances. But that feeling, that experience came from your thoughts first. This means your thoughts literally create your reality. This is beyond philosophy. This is reality. You know, even Albert Einstein and Thomas Edison, some of the most brilliant people of our time, found that your mind sends out frequencies. Just like a radio sends out radio frequencies, your mind sends out frequencies that can be measured, that expand time and place, that they are not limited by time and place. You can measure the amount of a mental frequency across the world, and they literally reflect back to you your experience. Now, this means, once again, that your thoughts create your reality. This is what the law of attraction is all about. But more importantly, that the thoughts you hold predominantly about any given subject are the thoughts that are going to determine the reality that you experience. So if you want to change your experience with prosperity, you've got to change your thoughts around it. If you want to be prosperous, you've got to think prosperous. No matter what's happening in your external environment, you've got to set the tone. Your inner determines your outer. The universe is responding to the vibration that you set. And your vibration is determined by your thoughts. So this means that it is imperative that you begin to shift your thoughts around prosperity. You shift it from lack into abundance. You shift it from limitation into no limits. So whatever amount of money that you're wanting, you've got to begin to think about that amount of money. You've got to begin to experience your life from that perspective that you already have it and the law of attraction will begin to respond to you. It's all about feeling prosperous first before you ever become prosperous. I became a student of the Law of Attraction when I was about 20 years old. A friend of mine had handed me some CDs uh, to listen to and he said, you know, these things have changed my life. And I listened to these CDs and it was all about the Law of Attraction and like most people who hear about the Law of Attraction, I had a mixed reaction. I was very excited about the possibility of creating whatever I wanted in my life, but at the same time, I was a little scared because it kind of didn't go along with what I had been taught. It kind of didn't go in alignment with my own experience of life. If I can create you know, my reality, why am I not already rich? Why am I not in the body that I want? Why do I not have the relationship that I already want? So there was a mixed reaction to it. And I didn't begin to become a master of the law of attraction until my life depended on it. 
know, in 2004, I was checked into the hospital and diagnosed with kidney failure, pneumonia, pancreatitis, anemia, 20 pounds overload of fluid on my body. And just to top off that delicious smorgasbord, I had a parasite in my stomach. And the doctors told me I had seven days to live and that I had to get my affairs in order. Well, I had been a student of this law of attraction. I had been studying it. So I said to myself, I wasn't ready to die. You know, I hadn't lived enough. I hadn't loved enough. And I really hadn't lived my purpose yet. I hadn't really began to love what I do and do what I love. So I said, okay, either this law of attraction stuff is going to be real or it's not. You know, either I'm going to move from just being able to get the type of parking spaces I want and uh, get, you know, have the person that I wanted to hear from call me on the telephone. I was going to move from those small manifestations of the law of attraction into saving my life. Well, long story short, three months later, I came out of that hospital and I was fully recovered. And that allowed me to see that the law of attraction was real and that it absolutely worked. But I needed to prove it in all areas of my life. You know, I wasn't always wealthy. I wasn't always prosperous. I didn't always have more than enough in my life. I can remember when I ate popcorn for dinner every night because I didn't have enough money to go to the store and buy something to eat. I can remember asking my parents as a 25 year old man to <laughs> lend me money so that I can buy some clothes for myself. And I remember the very moment that everything had to change for me was when my parents began to ask me what type of clothes did I want and why did I want it? And I thought, I did not want to have to explain to anyone the type of life that I wanted and why I deserved it. I wanted to be able to get the type of things that I wanted when I wanted it without explaining why I wanted it. And that began my journey with using the law of attraction. That began my journey with mastering this in all areas of my life because I no longer wanted to be dependent. So I began to use the law of attraction I began to imagine myself having the type of clothes that I wanted. I imagined driving the type of car that I wanted. I, I began to visualize myself with money coming to me in every area of my life and from every direction. And then, because I began to have a predominant thought pattern of being prosperous, of money coming everywhere, the universe began to respond to that. And money did begin to come in from everywhere. Everything that I touched almost felt like it was turning into gold. And I knew then that I was in alignment with the law of attraction and my life was the evidence of it. Well, the law of attraction is always working. <laughs> even in your ignorance of it and even if you don't believe it, it's operating in your life. It has to operate in your life. It is law. And unlike our physical laws, it can never be broken. So it's always operating. So the question isn't, why isn't the law of attraction working in my life? The question is, why am I not seeing the results that I want in my life? And how can I use the law of attraction to get them? And why aren't you seeing the results? You may desire something, but Desire never turns into manifestation until you get the feeling place first, until you are absolutely set on thinking the thoughts that are going to manifest your desire. You know, one of the greatest authors on the top of success was Napoleon Hill. And Andrew Carnegie had hired Napoleon Hill to go out and interview all the successful people in the world. This was in the 1940s. And this was about a 20 year study that he did. And what he found out from these people, the major secret that he found out was you get what you think about most of the time. That what you hold in your mind, the predominant thought patterns, determine the experience that you're going to receive. And so what successful people had found out was that they had to think successful thoughts. They had to begin to operate from a feeling place of success and then the world began to respond to that feeling place. They felt wealthy first, and then they got wealthy second. You see, this is the secret behind the secret, that it's about feeling. How you feel determines 
what you're going to experience on any subject. That sets your vibration point. If you are, have a, a vision board of you, you know, traveling the world and you getting the money that you deserve and you living the prosperous life and having the well-being and the freedom that you deserve, but you don't feel it, you'll never experience it. If your feeling place never shifts, then your life will never shift because the universe is responding to how you feel. And how you feel is determined by the thoughts that you're thinking most of the time. So one of the biggest things that I work with entrepreneurs who are looking to shift their life from struggle into freedom, to shift their, their financial place from one of lack into complete abundance, is to feeling that way first. Begin to do things that make you feel abundant. Begin to make you do things that make you feel prosperous. So wherever you are, you can feel prosperous no matter what the external life looks like. And that's the key. You've got to take your vision off of the external and begin to put your focus on the internal. Visualize, imagine, and then everything will shift. It all starts with feeling and then life responds to you. There is no such thing as luck. There is only alignment. Alignment with the law. What you think is luck is somebody who is absolutely in alignment with the law and life just happens to conspire for their good at every turn. Life just happens to support them at every single endeavor that they participate in. So you can't just break upon uh, success. Success is not an accident, it's a decision. And once you make the decision, you begin to feel your way into success. You begin to feel successful before you ever see success first. So think successful, think the thoughts that successful people think, think the thoughts that rich people think, feel successful, feel wealthy, and then life will respond to you in kind and it will break success out in every direction of your experience. first step for getting in alignment with the law of attraction is to have a vision for what you want in prosperity. Have an authentic dream. You know, there are no limits in this universe, so whatever you want, you can have, but you've got to make sure that you're asking from your standpoint because the universe is going to bring you what you want So, and what you're asking for. So what do you really want? What type of prosperity do you really desire? Do you want multi-millions of dollars? Or does your prosperity mean having enough to do the things that you would love to do? Do you want the yacht? Do you want the mansion home? Or do you want the small home in the cottage or the cottage with the picket fence in the country? What is your vision for prosperity? Get clear about that, step one. Step two is to begin to think thoughts that are in the direction of your desire. If you're wanting that mansion in Beverly Hills or that home in the Hamptons, if you're wanting that yacht, if you're wanting to travel around the world whenever you desire, or maybe you want that small cottage with the white picket fence in the country, what thoughts are supporting that? Well, I can tell you for sure that thoughts of lack and limitation are not going to align you with your dream. Thoughts that there's not enough money and thoughts that uh, I don't have enough, I've never seen anybody that has that, I don't deserve that, are going to hold you in disalignment with your desire and the universe will only respond to those lack and limitation thoughts. So in order to get your desire for prosperity, you've got to think prosperously. I have more than enough. I am well supplied for. I have everything that I need. Money comes in every direction and at swift times for me. I am prosperous right where I stand. These are the types of thoughts that are going to begin to align you with your desire and are going to begin to set a new vibrational point for you that the universe will begin to respond to. The third thing is to begin to find ways to feel prosperous right where you stand. Right now in your very present moment, 
begin to feel prosperous because the universe is always responding to your right now set point. So the law of attraction is responding to how you feel right now. So when you change the way you feel, you change your life. So begin to find ways to feel prosperous now. Maybe you're putting on prosperous clothing. You get rid of the things in your closet that don't make you feel alive, that don't make you feel prosperous, that don't make you feel rich. You begin to eat at the places that make you feel prosperous. You begin to shop at the places where the prosperous people live. You have prosperous conversations. You go shop for the type of car that you want and you just sit there and you imagine yourself driving the car, driving this car up in your driveway. I can tell you a time that absolutely changed my life. I remember driving uh, my grandmother's 1997 Ford Taurus. It was given to me. And I had this car for several years, but I knew that this car, although it was a gift to me and I was very grateful for it, it was not the representation of the prosperous life that I wanted. So I went to the Lexus dealership and I began to sit in the Lexus cars and imagine myself driving one of them up into my home. I went on test drives and began to feel what it felt like to drive a Lexus. And at the time, I didn't have $5 to my name. So there was no way that I was going to be able to buy that Lexus. But I began to shift my vibrational set point so that the law of attraction would bring me my desire. I didn't know how this was going to happen, but I knew what I wanted. I was very clear on that. Well, in a very short amount of time, um, in a month's time, actually, I came this opportunity for me to buy this Lexus. And it came at this point where it was absolutely affordable for where I was. You see, the law of attraction is not worried about the how because the universe is infinite. It can bring your desire in infinite ways. It wants to make sure of the what. What do you want? And feel that you already have it and you will. So one very important thing to understand about this law is that it is designed to help you. It is your friend. It is not designed to be your enemy, but it will be your enemy if you do not make a conscious decision to align with it. You've got to make the decision that prosperity is important to you and that you will use the law of attraction as it is naturally intended to be used. Think prosperous now, feel prosperous now, and you will be prosperous. It is law, therefore it must be so.